Yo, yeah, what's good? It's your boy Young Two Times. It's your boy X, man. Don't say back in the building. Yeah, man. Today we reacted to a 1090 Jake video. It looks like Lil Dirk's taken down by the feds, accused of sliding for Vaughn by paying for murder. But before we get this video, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe. Anybody want to provide some more context? I just read the title. Uh, I mean, self explanatory. Let's explanatory. All right, let's get into it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, and I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. And for this video, y'all see the title. But before we get into it, keep in mind everything I'm about to speak on is alleged by the feds. Now let's get into it. Very important word. It's a very important word. Everybody needs to be aware. Alleged. Alleged. Yeah. Hold on. What do you feel? We've been. Into it. So keep in mind, as, as you can see, he's showing that's videos that's Quando Rondo Quando and Vaughn uh-huh. before. You know what I'm saying all the crazy shit. I'm about to speak on is alleged. It's crazy how niggas can be cool and <laughs> some shit just make niggas start fighting each other. No bullshit. The facts. Now let's get into it. I'm saying though, they got sixty third niggas, some dirty ass niggas. We've been ready. On six, so we've been ready to put. Yeah, nothing, yeah, under, yeah. Like, who's Quando's little boy? I used to have him like this, saying fuck 63rd, me and Vaughn. There's video of this? Google it. No! No! <laughs> they be saying slide for Vaughn. I think they trolling me. For some reason, I just don't see the comments no more. Thursday, October 24th, 2024, Chicago rapper Dirk Banks a.k.a. Lil Dirk, was taken into custody by U.S. Marshals in Broward County, Florida on one charge of murder for hire. Hours earlier, an indictment was unsealed out of Los Angeles, charging five Chicago men with the 2020 Broad Day murder of 24-year-old Savaya Robinson, who was more commonly known as Lil Pap, the cousin of Georgia rapper Quando Rondo. See all that broken glass there? That's where the escalators park. They're getting gas when all of a sudden the windows are blown out by gunfire. They're under attack by bullets flying all over the place. To the left, Mike, you'll give you a look. See all those white evidence markers There's on the ground? Each one of those is by a ship. Yeah, that's the right. stupidest thing to do, especially in L.A. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. You take the opportunity when you, when you have it, but it's like, dang, that was like... So did they get arrested at that time? No, nah, they, they got arrested broke. like a couple Basically, of days ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They caught. They, yeah, they got arrested a couple of days ago. A couple of days before then, Dirk got arrested. Yeah, then Dirk. So got would they have like facial ID or some shit like that? Or like they probably here's footage. the thing. They probably took all the footage around the area, followed and tracked their cars to where they went. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I mean, and seen who it really was. That's the shit they be doing, bro. But did that shit happen like two years ago? Yeah, they probably been investigating, putting everything together, and making sure they get it right. Like, imagine niggas thinking they got through after two years is being good. I it had it all happens, high. bro. It does. I had it all high, bro. If I committed a murder for hire, allegedly, right? Man, I'm going to be out. <laughs> you ain't going to see me for a minute. Man. Just the, the paranoia doing some shit like that? No. I think they be, they be letting niggas rock out to see, like, you know what I'm saying? How they move after it too, like, because it's sometimes it makes their case easier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially if they're talking on inf- yeah. information too, like, if they're talking about it. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then especially too, like, if you're a, an page. investigator or a prosecutor page. involved yeah. in the case and you know certain things about it and then you hear certain things that t- they're talking about in the rap mm-hmm. that haven't even been disclosed to the public yet, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a clear indication that yeah. niggas is involved. <laughs> So I'm talking, on the, I'm talking on the internet. I'm talking on the internet. I'm not saying that's what happened in this case. Yeah. It, it could be. It could be. It could be possible. But firing at will, blasting. To be fair, a lot of niggas could have false information too. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's yeah. word. Like you could think it was these niggas over here, and then somebody relay it, and then everybody be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah we got that." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got that. We we t- we caught that body together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it probably wasn't even them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Moving away, targeting that black SUV, the rapper and his second person inside. Once that SUV is hit by the gunfire, they take off, they hit the gas, and they drive it a few blocks away into West Hollywood. They wind up stopping over at Santa Monica and San Vicente, right in the very heart of West Hollywood. They pull over there because the wounds to the man who was hit inside the Escalade too severe, he's bleeding. They pull over, 911 is called, paramedics rush in. They take the injured man who's hit by gunfire to the ER. He does not make it, does not survive. Of the five men indicted, Dee Dee, Varney, and Boogie would be identified as members or associates of OTF, a record label formed in 2010 by Lil Durk. The indictment would state on November 6, 2020, Davon Bennett, aka King Vaughn, a high-ranking member of OTF, got into a physical altercation with Taekwon Bowman, aka Quando Rondo, at a nightclub in Atlanta, Georgia. During the fight, an associate of Quando named Lil Tim pulled out a gun and shot Vaughn multiple times, killing him. After the murder, a man only identified as... It's funny how they put it on the shit, like, high-ranking OTF number, like, it's not, like, some musical shit. This, so, this is yeah. what, I'm, what, what I was gonna say, too. It's, that, like, it, that's exactly, like, like, what I thought when I was reading yeah. that, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. What, like heavy insinuations. Heavy insinuation. The way the government does that is just mad, like, yeah, man, racist, yeah. I feel like, mm -hmm. too, because, like, this is a music business, bro. This is not a gang. OTF is a music business. You know what I mean? So high-ranking <clears throat> OTF <laughs> member sounds insane. Why Word. don't you just say a OTF music artist? Word, you know yeah. what I mean? Or, or a high, a high-selling music OTF artist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they use this type of terminology to kind of like demonize and make it to look more crazy to the. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, no bullshit. Conspirator one made it clear to OTF Didi and three other unnamed men that he would pay a bounty to anyone who took part in killing Quando for his role in Vaughn's death. He communicated this hit in coded language. OTF Didi, the cousin of Lil Durk, would double down offering anyone responsible for Quando's death lucrative music opportunities on top of the money being promised. Two years later, it was now August 18th, 2022. The conspirators learned that Quando was staying at a hotel in Los Angeles. OTF Didi would recruit two gang members from Chicago that were unaffiliated with OTF, named Flocka and Brown Eyes. All right, so Didi would have. Co this is this is what I'm saying too, bro. Like, I mean, I understand there's probably a lot of more stuff that's gonna mm -hmm. come out, mm -hmm. but like. I don't know, it just seems kind of like, right now at least, it seems kind of iffy. Because it's like, yo, bro, this nigga's doing all the, the handyman work. Dirk ain't even really doing anything. Yeah. They're kind of pushing the issue type shit. You it know hasn't mean? been mentioned yet. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Where's Dirk involved mm -hmm. with, with all this? Unless the on? feds is just not saying. Right? Are they just so saying from the first yeah. thing that they said, oh, um, he offered money? I don't know, bro. Yeah, it's just saying. Okay. Like, they said that he offered money in coded language. <laughs> like, what is that? That what is that supposed to mean? Because it could be interpreted in different ways. If it's coded language, mm -hmm. what's it mean? It doesn't mm -hmm. actually mean verbatim Word. what he's actually saying. Why are you just interpret it as coded language? So things gonna be like this. Be like <laughs> murder for hire. Nah, yeah, it's just stupid crazy. shit. Oh, I just want to see what they got tickets from up. Chicago to San Diego by using an OTF credit card. Didi would confirm all three of them had the same airline tickets and would send a message on Instagram saying, on my way to LA. Didi and another OTF associate known as Boogie would travel with Flocka, Brown Hold on, so they posted and said, on my way to LA? Nah, run that back. I think he, I think he had hit him. Something and said, uh -huh. Didi would confirm all three of them had the same airline tickets and would send a message on Instagram saying, On my way to LA. Didi, so he must and have another OTF associate him, like, Boogie, would right, travel with yeah. Flocka, Brown Eyes, and a man only known as Co Conspirator Number Two from Chicago to San Diego with the plan to kill Quando Rondo. That same day, 
OTF Vaughn, he traveled by private jet from Miami to LA to facilitate the hit. Vaughn, who could be seen shopping at Ice Bar for King Vaughn back in 2020, would be seen shopping again, but this time obtaining cars, ski masks, and guns for the hit team. Landing in San Diego, That's he and his team would drive yeah. across the Los Angeles County meeting up with Vaughn, who purchased four black ski uh. masks from a sporting goods store in Los Angeles County using cash. But see, cash. like, yo, Once like, again, that's crazy because that shows you how, like, crazy the feds are going into the investigation. Like, they went back. They insinuated a lot, though. Hold on, I think, I think they mentioned he paid for this in cash. Oh, he paid for it in cash? How the fuck you trace this nigga? How the, where do, what, mm -hmm. nigga, what nigga they probably know? got the footage right That's before what, it expired. That's what I'm All saying, that. like, them niggas is on top of shit, bro. Yeah. That's nasty. How the niggas was not playing. Using an OTF credit card, oh, okay. Vonnie would book a hotel room at the Universal oh. City Hotel. Vonnie would provide the hit team with guns, including... The credit cards probably just made everything easier to trick them yeah. yeah. Of course. It's easy to everything with that shit. Switch. He'd also provide a white BMW and a white... But somebody's ratting, right? Yeah. Because it's like, how, this, how, how it's going to take know? a little while to get credit card now, information. Now, remember that back? How they know they, they, all the guns they gave him? Somebody t is telling. Oh, yeah. A 10 millimeter, that's very specific. With a switch, that means y'all didn't just only find the ammunition on the scene. Y'all found whoever it was, and they told you what they used to commit the murders. Yeah, they do, too. Very detailed yeah. guy. <laughs> Somebody's telling and a white infinity with a fake license plate. With no time to waste, the hit team would get right to work, traveling to Kwando's hotel to find, track, and kill him. But they'd have no luck. It wouldn't be until the next day they'd spot Kwando's black Escalade. They'd follow Kwando to a marijuana dispensary and then a clothing store, waiting for the right moment to strike. The feds were able to pull They're some car behind, two back vehicles there. tracking the Escalade, which eventually pulled the Beamer in that car, and they're behind this nigga, we'll that's crazy. We'll have another conversation later, which eventually were able to pull surveillance so, uh, photos uh, of two vehicles this, tracking this, the and Escalade, this is them. which that's eventually crazy. pulled Man, them the they on, they on back. Yeah, we'll never know the conversation that took place inside of that car, but they decided at that moment, it was time to take action. Boogie would park inside an alley next to the gas station as the three shooters exited the vehicle, ambushing the oh, Escalade man. and opening fire. Quando Rondo was inside of the vehicle with his sister as gunfire erupted, while Lil Pab had been standing next to it outside. Bullets would shatter glass, pierce metal, and push through flesh, leaving Pab on the ground as the shooters fled. Now dying, Pab would be placed back inside of the Escalade as they drove off only making it less than a mile away before flagging down the police. CPR would fail and Kwando would be left screaming out as he just witnessed his cousin get gunned down the same way the world witnessed King Vaughn go out. By now, the shooters had fled in the getaway vehicle, later traveling to a burger restaurant to discuss payment. The shooters would be driven back down to San Diego Flown back to Chicago that same night with OTF DD Payne. He went back the same night, so that was even more hot on too. Half of oh, the yeah. Yeah. Number one. So road, road trip there. That's bitch. a six hour. That's like a probably like six or four or five hour flight. Mm -hmm. But I could tell. You know what I'm saying? They probably got a body there too because those women was probably spooked. I'm like, we ain't chilling around here, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it don't help your case. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't help. Because if you went out there for the weekend, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It seems to me like in these type of situations, it's best just to like keep it as calm as you can. Yeah, like stay there, go to Disneyland. Don't you know overthink the shit. Nah, them niggas should have dro drove back or something, nigga. Oh yeah, something. you know what I'm saying? It would have yeah. took a lot longer, but it would have been a lot more inconspicuous type shit. Like. You but, know what I mean? Because to take a five, six hour flight. Back home after you just got somewhere, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like you're going to, like, New York well, or something. I think, I think they stayed there for the day, and it was the next day that they got them. So they was only out there for a day for real. Damn. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of weird. Cause, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's niggas, still ain't, weird, like, if niggas ain't never been to L.A., you go out there one night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No what, you, what you go to L.A. for? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, sexy. Being announced... <laughs> It's believed none other than Lil Durk will 
soon be identified as co-conspirator one and held responsible by the federal government for having members of OTF recruit a hit team, travel across state lines, and commit murder for hire. Under federal law, but this would mean look. Here's the thing, though. If this is a big if, mm -hmm. if it happens so as like the people that's involved with the actual shootings or alleged shootings, if their lawyers can say anything too, because they, they could probably be like, "Yo, bro, this was an act of like you know what I'm saying, an act of love, nigga. It had nothing to do with dirt, nigga." King Vaughn was his man's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I don't think they would ever, I don't think they would ever jeopardize their client in that situation. But I think if, as, if it gets to that point, it, I don't know. Yeah, that's a big if. But <laughs> they could be, just be like, you know what I'm saying? This has nothing to do with Lil Durk. He doesn't know, he doesn't mm -hmm. know Lil Durk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. He has no communication with Lil Durk. Mm -hmm. So, Dirk is possibly facing federal execution as the death penalty may apply. Mm. If sought by federal prosecutors, the only way to escape federal death would be by taking a plea deal for a life sentence in federal prison. Since the death of King Vaughn, Dirk would be consistently trolled online by three words. Slide for Vaughn. Every time Dirk says something online, you got all these fans and trolls telling him to you know, slide for Vaughn. King Vaughn got killed and Lil Durk didn't slide for Vaughn, which is like a, a meme online. And they're like, we like young boy because, you know, like these kids like really believe that they're it's a crazy part. nigga like, yo, slide for Vaughn now. Nigga. Yo, this nigga is so dumb. Why would yeah, he do that? Dogs. So how do y'all feel about that though? Do you think he actually did that because he crashed out because of seeing the comments? Or do you think it was no. just like, no. No, I don't think so. I don't believe him to be that stupid. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think he's that stupid. For the I comments, think, bro. I think if he was going to do it, I think he felt it. it. Them niggas are going to do it anyway. This yeah, is the thing. if this is true. Okay. This is the thing. I think all them Sly for Vaughn comments, mm -hmm. all these little young ass, two year old, in the mind ass mm -hmm. little niggas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, young boy fans. I ain't got nothing against young boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Young boy is makes great music, but it's like. He has super fans, just the way Nicki Minaj has super fans. They're gonna defend yeah. her to the end. And I Megan Stallion has super fans. It's just certain fans, fan <laughs> groups that are like a culture <laughs> type of audience, the and they feel like they're responsible yeah. for that now. <laughs> like, oh, we made dirt crash out, nigga. No, you did it. But I feel like even it's, it's on the internet too, so I think it's a little different. Like yeah, I feel yeah, like if it was like how Gunner, you know how Gunner would be like, "Yo, you a rat, nigga!" Like they be <laughs> yeah. seeing them and yeah. telling them. Right. And they, they might crash do it out like this. that because it's like, "Yo, they constant. do it like this though." You a rat though, and run, but run, still, run, 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 but that'll make you might crash out because quicker yeah. than like niggas just talking shit on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Because now niggas is bringing it into your real life. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when the internet turns into real life, that's when it gets. Like, yeah, <laughs> somebody might get slapped <laughs> out for real. Because a nigga might, nigga might beat somebody up on camera if they don't hear about it in real life. Nigga, if nigga but sometimes about you getting your ass. Whooped. Sometimes these internet niggas be thinking. Mm -hmm. They are gonna be the same way in real in, in the internet on, as in real life. Nah, one of these things probably might put hands on you, bro. Stop playing with niggas. They just they just like anybody else. I ain't else. mean that shit, bro. And then they bro, learn. I was just playing, bro. Yo, you taking yo, this too nigga. serious? Bro. And then they learn because it's like yeah. it had to happen to Charlemagne, right? Charlemagne used to talk wild. He <laughs> still talks wild, but it's like crazy. he's but not going. He sounded it down. Yeah, he's definitely sounded it down. Like he might be like, "Yo, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga," and you get mm. slapped up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Only take one time. To, to Charlemagne's credit, though, of all. Interviewees these days, like all of them, he's the only one right now that's gonna ask the uncomfortable question. Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, to whoever it is, to whoever it is. Yeah, it could that's be Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. It could be Post Malone. It could be whoever. Yeah. The other niggas be like picking with if they don't like you. Like Ebro might ask you some uncomfortable questions if he don't fuck with you. If he yeah, don't fuck yeah, with yeah. you, he definitely if he don't, don't fuck ask with you. you. Yeah, yeah. And you could check, sense the energy too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, this is gonna be rough, nigga. <laughs> these real situations, yeah. and these kids are out here just saying this shit like. I think this is a this bad ass nigga is a lot of the reason why too. Why this nigga 
they not be saying that. How do you know Hold what on, they what? doing? This nigga ride this I ride that nigga because I feel I feel like once he said that, I felt like the internet ran with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I have a question. For I you. forgot six nine was relevant at that time. At but that he was time. very relevant yeah. at that time. I have a question for um six nine though. Why didn't he slide on niggas when they smashed his girl? On that dog. <laughs> he did slide. Niggas is to the feds. <laughs> <laughs> he said to the feds. Niggas is locked. Niggas smashed my girl. Niggas smashed my girl. All that tough shit he be talking, nigga. Oh, dog. But I'm saying, like, okay. Like, all jokes aside, right? Like, But no funny if shit, If a nigga bro. smash your baby moms and have an intimate relationship with your baby moms, why you don't confront nigga, the nigga, man? I if think saying, that nigga is lying. Boy. If this is your homeboy, you say, Bro, I think that nigga is lying. He got fed that story from the feds, my nigga. Mm-hmm. As much as he says, oh, I went through her text message and I seen yeah. this and that. Nah, nigga. You probably was out here beating your bitch. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And when you out, this nigga's over here keeping a company. That don't mean he's smashing. That means that, that's your homie. Yeah, he's it's making sure. Way for your homie. It, is, it is very. That's very. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> yeah, out of pocket. I'm not going to lie. Shawty is kind of out of pocket. Yeah, that's wild, nigga. But. I think a lot of it. I think a lot yeah. of it. I think a lot of it was. Man, he should have just shot him, bro. That's. That, I'm, okay. I don't know. We don't condone. What, I, what I'll tell but, you. What I'll tell you, is I think a lot of that was pushed. That narrative was pushed by the feds. Uh-huh. It was like, yo, that nigga's talking to your bitch anyway, nigga. Yeah, niggas feel da, 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 da. And that nigga just ran with it like, what? Da, 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 da. For real? Okay, but this you know is what, what this is what you got to take this shit apart though. And oh. this is the thing you got to take. With the prosecutors and all these niggas tell you in that room, bro, they tell you that to talk, my nigga. Who's to say if that's really true or not? Word. You know what I mean? So, okay. Let, let's just say, let's just pretend for a second and say mm-hmm. that him snitching on Shawty makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, you fuck my girl, I snitch on you. Mm-hmm. Cool. Tap for tap. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. <laughs> let's just pretend, right? What about the nigga that kidnapped him? He snitched on him? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What about the nigga he hired to shoot at Chief Keith? So you snitched on him. I, that's crazy. You snitched on, on the nigga that you snitched on the nigga that was you gave the orders to. And they snitched on Cardi B. There's more. You said, <laughs> you said Cardi B was a blood. Yeah. You said Jim Jones was a blood. You just mentioned random niggas. Yeah. Now. That nobody knows. Like, has I always do thought it. that was weird. I I felt like that was fed motivated for him to say those things in court because. That shit was damn near like unprovoked. Yeah, like, mad unprovoked. Just giving up. <laughs> that nigga just ran Why you say that though? Names, but man. I think he also was like trolling too. So he's yeah. kind of just putting out information. I don't here. even think it's trolling. I just think I, think I feel he like it got, that. I feel like it got to be somewhat trolling because you know he's a troll. So he's like, all right, let me just give information that all right. niggas. There's need trolling me. on the end. There ain't nobody trolling in court though. Not in court, nigga. That nigga is a couch. That nigga is a. He's going around. Bro, 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 he got home. He got locked up. Nigga said, "Hold your head." This nigga started snitching. <laughs> 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 His mom was made bro. up. Bro. Bro. But like, uh. all right. So, but here's the thing too, though. Whack. I don't agree with whack a lot of times, but in this situation, when he responded back to this, mm-hmm. this was this? the perfect. No, but you know what I'm saying right here, because mm-hmm. I seen I seen this part of the interview. Mm-hmm. Oh, he tells I, oh, him, I just he tells him, he tells him straight up, like, nigga, how you know? Mm-hmm. How you know what them niggas is doing? Yeah, Are man. you around them niggas? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, everybody assume whatever they assume, bro. But that's the point of, like, if you're in the streets, mm-hmm. you let everybody assume. Nobody's ever supposed to know. They're yeah. just supposed to think. This is this what goofy niggas on the internet expect. Hey, yo, internet. I'm about to. I, I so we got the drop on Guando. All right? He's right over there. Yeah. I'm sliding. Can you see you my gun? It? I'm going to slide right switch. now. I have a switch on this. I'm going to slide. Watch this. Okay? Watch this, bro. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, see him? He's dead. I just killed Hold him. Hold on. Let me bring y'all here. Look at He's him. right there, guys. <laughs> I just slid for Vaughn. That was okay? me. I slid for Vaughn. Nah, Vaughn. niggas just be wanting me to do some dumb ass shit and then once you do it. Because, nigga, I was even watching, like, even if you tie it back to other shit, I was watching some shit where, you know, niggas be drifting in the cars. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, niggas <laughs> got in the pit, right? Everybody running in the pit. The niggas start driving around the car. He actually hits. He hits niggas, he right? He hits somebody, yeah. Yeah. These niggas get scared. <laughs> now, he running over these niggas to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, no. and then they start, like, fucking up his car. Like, yo, can you believe he did that? It's like nigga, this nigga's doing illegal shit, mm. drifting around. 
He hit somebody. Now you're, now you're surprised he's doing more illegal shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think you don't give yo, a fuck. The type of thought process some people would be having, it doesn't even like. And then be like, yo, I don't know why he would do that. This is so dangerous. This nigga's doing illegal shit already, bro. He's yeah, endorsing it. <laughs> when it go bad, nigga. Hold on, go back a little bit. Too. Too. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's right, bro. Situations. Yeah. And these kids are out here just saying this shit like, I'm gonna die. die. So Why is God not sliding on no non politics? Why is this nigga not sliding on niggas? Why do you know man? what they doing? Just because it ain't publicized. Those yeah, gangster. Words, did gangster they, though. Didn't they lock this nigga up with a butt in Brooklyn? <laughs> Yeah, right think, now, yeah, yeah right now. now. I think he's booked parole, parole the violation. That's crazy. This nigga was doing meth, bro. GSP, really? They uh, locked him up for meth. Mm. So they test, they tested his urine or whatever. He got tested positive for meth. That's crazy. Why the fuck did he use some meth, bro? I don't know. Maybe he got a coke. <laughs> doing coke and he's mixing it up. I don't know. <laughs> That's a wild boy. Meth? I don't. I ain't fuck with crazy with meth. I don't even know what meth does to it. Me either. Video title you a wild guy. Nah, I mean, I kind of knew you. Nigga, y'all you niggas know meth. You ain't been to meth, mom, nigga. Oh, oh yeah, that's what you're talking about. I be, I be thinking methadone is something different than actual meth. Is it? Nah, it's meth. The same. Nah, it is. It's just it is. short. Oh, okay. God. It is. Them, yeah, they be, yeah. So they be giving the same niggas. The, so the methadone clinic is giving the same <laughs> niggas that that the the trailer park niggas be cooking up the shit in the trailer park. Time. They give them some shit though, so I be picking these niggas. I ain't trying to say what I do, but you be picking them up. Yeah, and they that, be slumped up. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. The nick, so they go over there to pick up a certain medicine that, like, if Keep they them. if they take drugs, it's gonna make them sick. Mm-hmm. So they take the drug to kind of like make them not. Relapse, yeah. type shit. Mm-hmm. You know so they they go in there, kind of like taking a daily dose, and it's kind of like their fix for the day. But so why? So the other niggas is getting another fix. Some of them niggas just well, go in there in the morning. The niggas that be leaning the fuck over. You see yeah. what I mean? Oh, they just be out there because people Nigga, be, they be doing things shit. out they there. They be doing heroin, heroin and shit. <laughs> I'll explain. I'll explain, I'll explain more after. after. I don't want. So, I don't want to fuck uh, nobody uh, shit up. Uh, yeah. uh, this is one of the things going on over there. Because I thought the like, shit, the, the shit they gave them was making them act like that. that. No. Uh, no. Why? Oh, yeah, because of... Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, who died? You can't say that no more. Oh, because of Equity Cash? Oh, who? Nah, because Lil Pop. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I seen this nigga on um, Brick Baby around, like, doing his little new cycle. I feel like the nigga just be captain sometimes. I don't know. Cause some I, can't, of shit, I can't call it. I don't know. Oh my God. It's it's weird. It's like because it almost sounds like he admitting to something, mm-hmm. alluding to something. Right? Oh, I'm not even talking about this. I'm just saying oh, in general. Okay. Like sometimes when he be telling stories, he's like, "Yeah, nigga, I was with um, I was I took picture with Tupac when I when he was over here. You know what I'm saying? And then it'd be like, nigga, Tupac was dead by the end of some random shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yo, Damn, I didn't know all that. But nah, I'm, I'm, really, I'm not really too familiar with Me either. Uh, I, I just started hearing about. I yeah. knew he was on the 22 thing, the the or no, no the no jumper shit. It yeah. sound like it sound like he took like somebody somebody needs to turn that camera off when he's talking like this oh. because he sound like he don't even realize. Well, he's he, he got he got the headphones on. He knows he's on camera. Yeah. He needs to relax, bro. Do mm-hmm. you know something about this nigga too? He cool with the dude that oh yeah, yeah that yeah. killed uh, Nip yeah um, shitty like, that's like his man really yeah shitty yeah. cuz that's that's shitty cuz he went on Vlad and told yeah. the story and told stories about shitty cuz like they lived together and all that mm-hmm. so that's how he got famous nah he was already on the thing no but he's like, cool with Nip too he's a rapper he's a rapper, cool he's a rapper. Yeah. okay so he knew this is what he's saying on Vlad like y'all could just search this shit up yeah. but what's it called. He was going off that and he was just giving different stories about how the shitty cuz nigga used to get beat up in the hood type shit. And I guess from his estimation, he felt like the nip shit, it was just like, okay, so people were saying he was a snitch. Mm-hmm. He's saying it wasn't true. He felt like he, he's saying he don't think it was true. But he felt like there was just like a pile on on the shitty cuz nigga. Yeah. And he, he felt like the nip shit was kind of like the... Tip, the tip, the tip, the tipping point. Yeah, yeah, like, 
Oh, so now this now the rap nigga calling me you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Even though Nip allegedly did whatever he did mm-hmm. in the streets, right? Mm-hmm. But he are looking at oh now this now this nigga that's popping calling me a snitch too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he probably just off his shit. And, uh, you know, we all know the rest. That's good. Oh, what's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. But that's the new term, uh, like no more slide for mine. Because of Lil Pop. Now, after that incident, though, being that this is a federal murder case, by the way, pers- the nigga that was talking like, oh, the Flacco, yeah. This is a nigga you can't tell nothing to. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Yo, are they still lit? Like, um, 20- so, no, no jumper. Not like how they used to be, but so okay. But real quick, mm-hmm. Flock, the Flocko dude, he's on no jumper with the Brick Baby nigga, right? Mm-hmm. This nigga put up a video where he say <laughs> he basically put Brick Baby in this shit. Where he go, Brick Baby gave a location. He basically said like Brick Baby gave a location oh, yeah, to yeah. for for Dirk and shit. Yeah. Like nigga, you work with this nigga, yeah. bro. Why would you put his Why would you put on? that shit out there? Oh hell no. Nah. If a nigga tell me some shit like, yo, yo, ex, bro, I just, mm-hmm. I get a location or I shot this nigga. Mm-hmm. This, this don't leave this room. Yeah. Yo. You ain't about to, I, I don't want nothing <laughs> to do with it. Because that nigga stick yeah. that I'm part of this shit. Yeah. So I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm going to act like I ain't even hit. It's almost like the shit for you didn't even tell purposes, me this shit. For legal purposes, I didn't hit anything. Exactly. That's, that's, that's yeah. you know what I'm saying? I didn't comprehend it. I didn't take it literal, bro. Yeah, I think the thing about Flocka, what's his name? It's Flocka, right? Flocka. Flocka, I feel like the thing about this nigga, he look like... He's not a street nigga. He don't, he take shit, he don't take shit serious, so it's just like everything a joke. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's certain niggas that literally think everything's a joke. Yeah, yeah, I don't like to be around. (laughs) And there's just some people that are just trolls, though, like, Mm -hmm. like, I hate to say it, I'm gonna just speak, this is my opinion. Even, um, what's the nigga from New York, the, the gangster nigga, the... He was what uh, Irv Gotti and them. Um, what's the name? He in jail now. Supreme. Supreme. You see his son just be saying shit now. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, how you like? I guess I guess he tried to say that. I guess Fifty said some shit like, Cream isn't responsible for his career. Uh-huh. As we've seen over and over, Fifty uh-huh. is Fifty. Uh huh. This superstar. Oh, yeah. This nigga Cream's son was like. How can you not say that? You know, Preem made you lit and you scared of him and da da da. Nigga, how would you? I'm like respectfully. Uh-huh. How would you know like, when you was a baby nigga, when niggas yeah. was respectfully, beefing? Respectfully, too. The reason the world even knows about Preem is because of Fifty. Yeah. So let's let's like if we be being act, honest, because like, Preem like, was really one of the it. niggas that was never supposed to be known. Yeah, right? he, he was known because he didn't publicize yeah. himself. Right? Nah, he was flashy out there, but it's like he yeah, no, 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 okay, he was flashy, but he wasn't like, Not yo, I'm praying, I'm I a gangster. Think, I think he wasn't Marshall like me. So he was like, yo, bro, niggas know him in five boroughs in New York, but yeah. beyond that, Outside niggas don't know. Nigga that's a fair point like to that. say. That's fair to say, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's a lot of drug dealers. Like a lot of niggas yeah, sell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody know Frank Lucas, no fucking, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know Frank Lucas now because of Denzel. Yeah, but it's like if we're being honest. Yeah, but I think the whole point of the shit was taking credit for Fifty's career is kind of insane. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nigga, I mean, you try to end his career. That's, that's what yeah, I'm trying you try to kill him before he <laughs> had a career. Alle- allegedly, you yeah. know, whatever, allegedly, right? Allegedly, Irv Gotti for sure tried to end his career. Like mm-hmm. try to try to uh, blackball black, him. Blackball him. And look where he ended up. Okay. Nigga, black ball to sell. Alright. Yeah, we got the walk so the walking now. Karma. We can expect this to take years before a final sentence. <laughs> <health. laughs> <laughs> 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 I don't know why I said that, man. <laughs> as well as That's just the mass. last thing I thought of when <laughs> I saw him. Every unnamed conspirator in this indictment is about to be taken into custody. It's almost guaranteed Dirk will not be granted any type of pretrial release. And this could very well be the end of the rapper's career and freedom, an ending almost predicted in his song, Red Man. Now, like I said in the video, That's crazy, I mean, I'm not I, I know that song. Cold, song this might be the end of the yeah. He just got indicted by the feds for a charge that carries Sometimes you gotta watch what you execution. say about yourself, though. Sometimes you, it, 
It's like I don't see how he can get a plea. I don't see why they would give him a plea. Fruition. I don't see how 100%. his lawyers, no matter how much money he puts forward, would be able to get him out of this situation. And there's a lot of important things being left out of this. We don't know how the feds found out about that conversation that he allegedly had. Somebody's or a co-conspirator one allegedly mm-hmm. had. We don't know the amount of money the shooters were allegedly paid. We don't know a lot of these things because a lot of details have yet to come out. Mm-hmm. And they're going to. We'll be able to make a better judgment on things as more evidence is released. Obviously, more arrests are going to be made because the other co-conspirators haven't been named because they're not in custody. We're going to find out if anybody's snitching. This is going to get deep. This is going to play out similar to the old block FBG duck case. This is going to take years to solve. And then all the evidence is going to be released. The videos, the pictures, everything. But this is a major blow to hip hop. This is a major blow to Chicago, to Lil Durk's fans. Obviously, I'm thrilled about this shit. I'm rocking with anybody. Shit, because who the fuck else is living out in Chicago right now? But it's like, Other than Herbal. And Herbal's not really like... Motherfuckers um, can hope it ain't true because who... Going on 1700. With this many millions of dirt. Going on 1700. Polo G. Polo G. Polo G's nice. I just heard this new album's fire. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Shit, I need all all the niggas ain't dirt. like, still ain't dirt level though. It's it's not like you know, dirt level of. They young, they young, they trying to get up there. Yeah. Well, also, I think I just dropped it on like an album too. But let me know y'all's thoughts and comments, comments in the comments section. Don't make me not rockin' with y'all, y'all rockin' with me. Yeah, man. That was a video on Lil Dirt. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe, man. We out of here.